effects in the disease. So some areas like Blackburn, Oldham, Pendle, Leicester and parts of West Yorkshire remain under tougher lockdown rules. There are worries about rises in infections in Birmingham, Swindon and Stoke. While most of Greater Manchester remains under stricter measures, three boroughs are exiting those tougher restrictions, as well as parts of Lancashire and West Yorkshire. And in one of those Greater Manchester boroughs, Trafford, the local council are furious that restrictions are going to be lifted there too, against their advice. It's clearly the case here that we've been overruled. Nobody's had the courtesy to explain to us the reasons why. Actually, in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't matter. This is about what's best for our residents. And I really feel that we could have done with seeing these in for another week or two. A reliable vaccine remains the key to lifting restrictions across the country. Even as clinical trials are underway, plans have been announced for the training up of what's described as an army of health professionals to deliver it, including pharmacists, midwives and physiotherapists, perhaps also dentists and vets. And a reminder of why a vaccine is so important. Figures released today show that a recent rise in new infections seems to be levelling off but is not yet falling. The decline in infections in Stockport shows that locally targeted measures can make a difference. Until a vaccine is available, that's likely to be the main weapon in keeping the lid on COVID-19. Dominic Hughes, BBC News, Stockport. The time is 13 minutes past six. Our top story this evening. A new government campaign in England is urging people to return to the office to boost urban economies. And coming up, how long does immunity from coronavirus last? Scientists are trying to find out the answer. In the Midlands at 6.30, when will it all end? Families still unable to return home nearly a year after their houses were flooded. And if you're anxious about children and their comfort eating during the lockdown, stand by for some useful tips to counter those bad habits. People living in local authorities in England which had the highest levels of child poverty before coronavirus are now revealed to be suffering some of the biggest rises in unemployment. The Joseph Rowntree Foundation, which carried out the analysis, is calling for the government to target help in the places worst hit. The Treasury says it's put support in place to help the most deprived communities. Our special correspondent Ed Thomas has been hearing from people in the northeast of England, a region that has the highest rate of joblessness in the UK. They've seen industries rise and fall. And once again, in the northeast of England, it's the poorest suffering the most. Relying on friends, family, strangers to see them through this pandemic. Oh, but they're two, four, six, eight, Everything eight, here 